Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to add GeoT file, shape file and CSV file in Google Earth Engine. So suppose you are having GeoReference GeoT file and also shape file, then we can able to add here, okay? We can able to see whatever the GeoT and shape file we have added, we can able to see here in a map section. So how to add this that we'll see first. So later I will go to arc map and in G data, I'm having this LULC map, which is already geo reference. Also I'm having a shape file. If you'll right click zoom to layer, then you will see this shape file also I'm having and I'm having this CSV file. If I'll go to drive. So here in this folder, I'm having this PM10 file in that in that latitude, longitude and PM10 value are there. Okay. Like suppose you are having any file which are having latitude, longitude and also you are having anything in this Z like PM10 or you are having elevation data or might be you are having some water level data. Then you can able to add this file in Google Earth Engine. So three things we need to add. Okay. First, we need to add this GOT file, then we need to add shape file. And third is that we need to add our this CSV file. Okay. So let we'll go back to our Google Earth engine. So when you will log in yourself, that time you need to go to assets. In the assets, there is a new option is there. In the new, there is a GOT file option is there. Okay. Dot tiff dot t i double f okay so just click here then select option is there select so we need to select and we need to go to the folder where we have save our file okay so just click on select so here in g folder in the geo referencing i'm having this file okay this t file able to select this t file okay then just click on open. So you'll see that T file is added here. And then you just need to click on upload. Okay. So after uploading it, you can able to see in the task section, this file is uploading. So it will take little bit time. If it is having a large T file, then it will take more time. So if the tip file is smaller MB, then it will quickly add here. So we'll wait up to complete this process. So file is added here. Okay. So just you need to refresh here. Okay. So this option is there refresh asset. So you can able to see the same file is added here. So if I'll click on it, you can able to see the details about the tip file which we have added. So this tip file we have added and you can able to see the location of this place. And I need to import here. So just click on import. So this file is added here. And if I want to see this file here. Okay. If I want to see this file, just I need to write. So this file name is image okay here image if you want to rename it you can rename it but i will keep as it is so i'll write map dot a double d capital l a y e r so in bracket we need to write this same i m a g e image then this semicolon and then you need to click on the run okay once you'll click on the run you will see the file which we have added here but you could not able to see the colorful as we are able to see here okay so what we can able to do here the layer option is there in the layer one we need to click here in setting okay and then we need to go to select stretch type as 100 and apply so again you need to click on the apply 
and just click on the close so you can able to see what are the file we have added you can able to see here similar file what we have seen here the same file we have added there okay so this way very easily we can able to add the got file so if i'll uncheck it you can able to see what is below there you can also take the satellite view and you can check and check this file so this land use land cover map i have added here and uh, I have georeferenced this file and I have added here and you can able to check this way very easily we can able to add our GOT file okay after adding a GOT file I am interested to add this shape file in the last video also I have shown how to add a shape file but here also I will again show you how you can able to add the file here so same process just need to go to new shape file then we need to go to select and here you need to check the file what are the file is required here dot shp dot zip dbf prj all this file we need to check so i'll go back and in the shape file so this file is open there so that's why it is showing so we can able to remove this file from here okay then that log file will not show here then just select all this using the shift and uh, i don't want this adobe illustrator file and this microsoft edge file the remaining file i, don't, I want that cgp dba prj spn then this shp shx then just click on open so you can able to see it is added here if you are able if you're able to get the error means you are missing some files or you are adding some extra files then i am adding here the name as it is rajasthan district and just click on upload so this way very easily we can able to add our rajasthan shape file as well so this is uploading here okay so let will wait for few times so it is important uh, your file should be geo reference if your shape file is not geo reference and uh, this gotf is not geo reference then you could not able to add this file here so geo reference means if i will add this file here and if i'll right click zoom to layer and right click open properties in the properties you will able to see the sources that this file is in wgs 1984 means it is having a some real world locations similar way if i'll able to add the rajasthan district shape file this also having some projections means if i'll right click again you will see some projection is there so if you are having geo reference or projected file then you can able to add this file very easily in google earth engine so it is still uploading so now it is task is completed so it's not showing me here so i'll refresh so rajasthan district i'll open so you can able to see the location on a world map so this rajasthan district shape file is there you can also check in the feature the attribute table is there okay so all the district name is showing here and uh, then again i need to add this so we can able to add from here import into script so the name of the shape file is table if you want to change it to anything like roi region of interest you can add enter and then again enter then write map dot add layer then roi and then again run so you will able to see the shape file 
which we have added here and the same shape file which we have seen here that we can able to add here okay so this way very easily we can able to add our shape file then we can able to add GOT file now the last option is that I'm interested to add the CSV file okay so to add a CSV file here we can able to see I have three column latitude longitude and PM 10 value so this I'm interested to add so let we'll go to earth engine then new and CSV file option is there CSV file so same way we need to select the file then I will go back I will select this PM 10 file and this file is in a CSV file okay just open so file name is added here PM 10 file then come downside and here we need to add longitude and latitude okay so same name we need to add here so this is the latitude I will copy and I will paste here again this longitude I will copy I will paste here and remaining thing I will keep as it is and I will just click on upload so this file is uploading here So whatever file you are having if it is not in csv you can save as file okay you can go to save as file what are the folder you are working and from here you can able to convert this file into csv file format okay so you can just click and you can save it is after that your file will be converted into csv file format and that csv file we can able to add here so it will take little bit time to add here So now it is uploaded. So again, refresh. Then this PM10 file is added. I'll just open it. So you will able to see the location of that CSV file. Okay. So this way it is distributed. Whatever the latitude longitude is there, it is converted into point. And in the feature, you can able to see the PM10 value for each number is showing here so according to that you will able to see the pm10 value as well and now i'm interested to import this so just click on import so the name is coming table you can if you want to change the name you can change name so i will add map dot add layer then T A B L E table and just click on the run. So here this file is uh, near Chhatrapati Sambhajinagar Aurangabad. So it will add here, you will be able to see the point here. Okay. So if I'll zoom this location, so see that uh, all the point which we are having is coming here so this way very easily we can able to add our shape file tip file and csv file so if you are having any doubt regarding all these things you can ask me in the comment sections if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you